CodeWP modes are the core feature of our platform. They allow CodeWP to create incredibly accurate and up-to-date code for products and plugins that each mode represents. If we jump over to the marketing codewp.ai slash modes page, you can see here's how they work. And here are the modes that are available on our platform. Modes follow a strict testing schedule and they go from alpha to beta to generally available. If you are beta testing modes, be warned that they can sometimes create inaccurate code and we do strict testing before bringing them to general availability to ensure that the generations that these modes create are as accurate as possible. On this modes page, you can easily click into any one of these modes. So I'll click into the WooCommerce mode and you'll be able to see this is generally available to the pro and agency users of the CodeWP platform. These modes are incredibly powerful and they create specific code for that plugin. So I'm going to jump into WordPress. This is the default mode. It's free. And if you don't have another mode selected, you'll be in the WordPress mode. This is the coding user interface. We have a complete overview video in this same playlist, and we're going to be in the WordPress specific mode. So now if I say make a short code example for me, I'll just say code, a short code example for me. It will go and create a general short code for WordPress. We're in the WordPress mode. It creates a short code for WordPress. We don't need to specify that it must be in PHP. We don't need to specify that it's for WordPress. All we need to do is have this mode available, active and running when we do our prompting. That's a general example of how a mode works. Now, let me show you when we switch a mode, how the behavior changes. So we'll say ACF demo .php. I'll make a new file. I'll switch the mode to ACF and I'll say register three fields related to dinos and I'll submit that prompt. And you'll note that I did not specify create three ACF fields in PHP that are related to dinosaur custom post type and information. All I did was say register three fields related to dinos within that ACF mode. And what this mode does is it tailors the code output to be specific to ACF. So it uses the proper ACF add local field group action. It structures everything as it should be, and it creates the ACF keys or fields according to the documentation and the best practices for the ACF plugin. Now I'll do another example and say carbon fields example. We'll do carbon fields PHP and we'll do the same exact prompt. So we won't close the file. We won't delete the file. We will click carbon fields PHP, create that new file and then jump into the carbon fields mode. And I can search for the mode, click into carbon fields. You'll also notice that carbon fields doesn't have a preset associated with it. We have another video describing how presets work, but there's no preset associated with that mode. So the presets disappear. And I'll do the same exact submission and you'll be able to see that now it follows the carbon fields way of registering and setting um, different modes or different fields. So modes really change the behavior of the AI underlying and power in code WP. So when we're in the carbon fields mode, it creates code specific to carbon fields. If we're in the ACF mode, it creates code specific to ACF. If we're in any other mode, it creates code specific to these modes. Now I can jump into the chat mode as well, and I'll actually create a completely new conversation. And the way I'll do that is by clicking create new chat or create new snippet. I'll go into new chat and I can choose the mode directly from here. I can say maybe explain what this plugin is. So I'll jump into this chat. And we'll be in the Elementor mode in this chat. And I'll just say, explain what this builder is for. And because we're in that Elementor mode, CodeWP leverages its unique understanding of what Elementor is in the most up-to-date version. It leverages its unique understanding and knowledge of how Elementor works on both the front end and the back end. And it gives me a response specific to the Elementor page builder. 
Now, if I jump back into WordPress, I can ask a WordPress specific question. What is this CMS and what's the, what's the most recent version? And now it's going to give me a WordPress specific response. As of February, 2024, the most recent major version of WordPress is 6.4. So again, these modes allow CodeWP to leverage custom AI in both the knowledge base and the models powering our platform to give completely unique, accurate, and up-to-date answers, code examples, snippets, so on and so forth, related directly to the plugin or the product that the mode is related to. So modes really change the behavior of CodeWP and they allow our generations to be more accurate, quicker, and better than any other platform, any other AI in existence. We focus on WordPress, we specialize in this CMS and all of the plugins that power it and make it good. And we create modes for these specific plugins. Again, some modes are in beta testing. So you can see right here, this is a pro mode, but it's also in beta testing. It will soon be released to the general public. You can request modes and you can request that CodeWP trains and adds them to the platform by going to codewp.ai slash request. And that's how modes work. I hope you really enjoy CodeWP and I hope you enjoy using the modes because these are the core things that underpin and power our unique and custom AI for WordPress creators.